Hey guys, so it's day four and Christmas is only three days away. How crazy is that? <laughs> so December, I want to say it was the week leading up to Christmas, 2010. Sci-Fi Channel aired their original movie, Alice. Um, we watched it because I was still living, maybe it was Christmas 2009. It had to have been Christmas 2009. So forget what I said earlier. Anyway, it was my first year here in Wyoming and uh, my first Christmas here. And uh, anyway, Sci-Fi Channel had Alice. Uh, two part thing um, and on the second night me and my brother and his wife watched both parts together fell completely in love not only with Andrew Lee Potts <laughs> but with Alice in general the whole Alice in Wonderland everything so not too long after we watched the movie um, and this was still in the week leading up to Christmas I went and I bought the book, Alice in Wonderland, or Alice's Adventures Underground and Through the Looking Glass. And I read the book, and then, I don't know, I just, I started falling in love with the whole Alice, uh, what do you want to call it? Not mythology, but the whole world of Alice in Wonderland, and Wonderland itself. And then, yeah, we went to Tim Burton's in... I think it was six months later that Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland came out. But, uh, so yeah, uh, Christmas 2009 had to have been one of my favorites because it's the year I discovered Alice in Wonderland and fell in love with it. And, uh, I mean, I had grown up seeing the, like, the old cartoon, but I hadn't seen it in years when the sci-fi released Alice. So it was just, it was a new discovery for me to find this whole... Alice world so uh, if you guys have never seen it you should definitely go check this out because it's really good and it has Andrew Lee Potts in it I mean <laughs> yeah and uh, if you've never read the book you should read the book and there's other there's a whole bunch of other really good Alice literature out there there's uh, the uh, there's a book called Alice I Have Been and it's about the real Alice Little. It's really good. Um, there's a there's a trilogy. Uh, I can't think of what it's called. I feel horrible. But uh, there's a graphic novel, comic book based off of the trilogy called Mad Hattigan. Matter Hattigan? Hatter Madigan? Hatter Ma No. Something like that. But anyway. I th no, actually, it's a, I think it's called M. But, uh really good the book series I haven't read the comics but anyway so I'll see you guys tomorrow just another day closer to Christmas <laughs>